What's up guys, it's Matt. Today I'm going to show you how I was able to achieve certain shots in my announcement video for becoming an independent videographer. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so I wanted to start off with this first wide shot of me looking out on the city with all of the lights off. So this here is the raw 4K video of me looking out on the city and there wasn't that much movement so I ended up rotoscoping myself instead of green screening myself but we'll get to that later. And this is the time lapse that I took of the city that night from the same basic spot that I was uh, standing taking the video of myself. So this is the time lapse from that spot and this is where I went with the time lapse after I edited it in Lightroom. So basically I took these raw images and put them into Lightroom and turn down the brightness, the you know highlights, the shadows, all that kind of stuff to basically get closer to the city at night without you know all this vibrant um, brightness. And once I was able to do that in Lightroom, I basically just exported this as sort of my dark city, but obviously you can see all the lights are on. Uh, in these spots where I don't want them to be on. So after I got to this point, <clears throat> I went into After Effects and yeah, I had to create a bunch of masks. Um, took forever. And what I did was I went through to each of the windows that had lights on and created these masks around them and made my background layer just a color and since it's not super zoomed in it doesn't have to be perfect but all of these different masks had to cover all of the different lights and it took forever but anyways that's what I ended up getting once I was able to mask out every single light and it was easy in the aspect that I didn't have any camera movement, so I didn't have to track any masks or anything. So that got me back to that intro shot. And what I had to do essentially was mask along the railing and around myself and back along the railing so that this layer could be the actual time lapse. And the reason that I used a time lapse to turn the lights off from off to on is because with the raw photos I get way more dynamic range than I would with just video so with these photos having the lights go from off to on it looks much more dramatic than if I were to try to do it with all video but this part down here is all the actual video and then I just sort of aligned the time lapse on the upper half with some masks. All right, for this second shot, the close up of the phone, what I did was that actual element in the phone is actually loaded on to my phone. At first I thought I would just track it onto like a a green screen that was just in my phone but then I tried to work smart and just load it into my phone and then time up the element with my thumb so that it looked like I was actually turning up the numbers as they go with my thumb and for the lights outside of it as you can see they look like they're turning on what I did for that is I just created a mask around my hand and then I had to track the mask 
But all I'm doing is it's it's just a sort of sloppy mask, but I'm I'm just fading up everything on the outside as far as uh, the opacity goes. So that was how I was able to achieve that shot was just uh, some some fancy timing with the actual element on my phone. Alrighty, and now comes the payoff shot, which is the lights actually turning on in the city. And this shot has a lot of the same principles that I just talked about before with the wide shot, but it's just basically fading in one to the other. So back in After Effects, what I had to do was mask myself which this part it, again is just the video of me standing there I took another time lapse from this angle of the city did the same thing where I brought it into Lightroom brought all the lights down and then I had to go through and mask all of the lights out again from this angle and then I faded in the actual time lapse where all the lights are on which for this shot, I also had to do masks for all the windows because in the original time lapse that I took that night, half of those lights are off. So I wanted to really, you know, make it sort of an extreme off to on. So I had to mask all of those windows for the on time lapse as well. So that's why it took so long. And as you can see, the reflection of the water here I also did so that took a while as well but just the all it's all the same principle with the with the mask and um, having the lights off to on so that's not super in-depth but hopefully that gives you an idea of how I was able to just the same principle as before all the lights off as I'm going through I fade in the other shot with all the lights on and they match up perfectly. For the final shot of the intro where I'm just writing the board away, it's the same principle yet again. Just the far time lapse, I had to go through and mask out all the windows again, turn all the lights on since now I've turned them on, and just rotoscope myself riding in front. Just basically the top half I had to rotoscope since the bottom half is actually the real video. So just rotoscope myself riding off, and that is the intro. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you learned something that you can apply to your own effects.